Hello, I'm Martin Looker from Silicon Labs. In the previous video in this series, I created the Bluetooth Blinky example application. In this video, I'll be using Simplicity Studio's Bluetooth GAT configurator to alter the services and characteristics the application offers via Bluetooth. Now that we have a working example to use as a starting point, let's see how we can adapt the Bluetooth services offered by the device using the Bluetooth GAT configurator. This tool is accessible from the .slcp overview tab, but the file was also opened automatically when creating the Bluetooth project. This tool allows the profiles, services, characteristics and descriptors that form a Bluetooth device to be edited. Existing values can be edited. Here I'll change the standard manufacturer name characteristic value and save the file. Documentation for items is easily available as a summary and deeper information on working with the different item types is accessed from the question mark button. You can easily add standard items defined by the Bluetooth SIG. You can add whole profiles with their services, characteristics and descriptors. Or you can add items lower in the hierarchy, such as adding new characteristics to existing services. Note that as you click on the elements, you can view their documentation on the right hand side. With the custom Blinky profile selected on the left, I can select and add the standard battery level service. I'm going to delete the characteristic presentation format descriptor as I won't need to use it. I'll also set an initial level of 100% for the value and enable the notify property allowing subscribed devices to automatically be updated when the value is changed. If you can't find a standard service, characteristic or descriptor that meets your needs, you can add and configure a custom element. For example, the LED control and report button characteristics and the Blinky service itself are all custom elements with long IDs. Standard elements can be recognised by their short IDs. We also have similar tools to edit clusters and attributes for Zigbee and Matter applications when developing for those protocols. Subscribe to the Silicon Labs YouTube channel to be notified when the next video in this series is released. In the next video, I'll be making use of Simplicity Studio's time-saving software components feature. I'll use it to add a second button to the application, which I'll use to simulate changes to the battery level characteristic we just added. In the video description, you'll find links to the other videos in this series and relevant information on the topics I just covered. Thanks for watching.